Hey everyone, welcome back to our show. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been making waves everywhere. We're talking about plant-based meat. Is it really good for your heart or are there some hidden downsides we need to watch out for? Absolutely. Plant-based meat, huh? How is it different from our regular meat? What's all the fuss about? Great question. Plant-based meat is designed to mimic the taste, texture, and look of real meat, but is made entirely from plant ingredients. Think of things like soy, peas, beans, lentils, and other veggies. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. So it's healthy for your heart, right? You got it. Unlike regular meat, which can be high in unhealthy fats, plant-based meat tends to have less saturated fat. That means it's better for your heart health because it doesn't clog your arteries. Okay, so what are some of the benefits of eating plant-based meat? Well, there are quite a few. For starters, lower levels of saturated fat can help reduce bad cholesterol levels in your blood. This can decrease your risk of heart disease. Plant-based meats are also often rich in fiber, which is another win for your heart health. Fiber, how does that help? Fiber helps by reducing the absorption of cholesterol into your bloodstream. Plus, it keeps your digestive system running smoothly, which is always a plus. Nice. Are there other benefits we should know about? Definitely. Plant-based meats can be a great source of protein without the added hormones and antibiotics that are often found in animal meats. They can also be lower in calories, which can help with weight management. A key factor in heart health. Sounds like there are a lot of good reasons to try plant-based meat. But are there any drawbacks we should be aware of? There are a few, yes. One of the main concerns is that some plant-based meats can be high in sodium. High sodium levels can lead to increased blood pressure, which is a risk factor for heart disease. Oh, that doesn't sound good. What can we do about that? The key is to read the labels and choose products that are lower in sodium. Also balance your diet with other low sodium foods like fresh fruits and vegetables. Makes sense. Are there any other potential drawbacks? Another thing to consider is that while plant-based meats can be a good source of protein, they sometimes lack certain nutrients found in animal products, such as vitamin B12, iron, and omega-3 fatty acids. These are important for overall health, including heart health. So should people just avoid plant-based meats then? Not at all. It's all about balance, including a variety of protein sources in your diet, such as beans, lentils, nuts, seeds, and whole grains, can help you get the nutrients you need. You might also consider fortified foods or supplements to fill in any gaps. Got it. So who should consider adding plant-based meat to their diet? Almost anyone can benefit from adding plant-based meats to their diet, especially those looking to reduce their intake of saturated fats and cholesterol. People with a family history of heart disease or those who have been advised to follow a heart-healthy diet may find it particularly beneficial. That's awesome. It sounds like plant-based meat can be a great option if you pay attention to what you're eating and make sure you're getting a balanced diet. Exactly. It's not about replacing all meat with plant-based options, but rather incorporating them into a balanced diet to improve overall health. I think our listeners will really appreciate this information. It's good to know there are tasty options out there that can help keep our hearts healthy. Absolutely. And it's also worth mentioning that plant-based diets in general have been associated with numerous health benefits, including a lower risk of heart disease, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer. Wow, that's quite impressive. Can you tell us more about the environmental benefits of plant-based meats? Of course. Producing plant-based meats generally requires fewer resources, such as land and water compared to animal meat. It also generates fewer greenhouse gas emissions, which is better for the environment. So by choosing plant-based meat, we're not just helping our hearts, but also the planet. Exactly. It's a win-win situation. Reducing meat consumption and incorporating more plant-based options can significantly lower our carbon footprint. That's great to hear. Are there any specific brands or products you would recommend for someone just starting out with plant-based meat? There are several popular brands that offer delicious plant-based meat options, like Beyond Meat, Impossible Foods, and Morningstar Farms. They offer a variety of products from burgers and sausages to ground meat and more. It's a good idea to try different ones to see which you like best. Cool. I've heard a lot about those brands. Are there any tips for cooking plant-based meat? Yes. Cooking plant-based meat is similar to cooking regular meat but there are a few things to keep in mind. For example, some plant-based meats cook faster than animal meat, so be sure not to overcook them. Also, they tend to be more versatile, so you can get creative with your recipes. That sounds fun. Do you have any favorite recipes you'd like to share? Sure. One of my favorites is a plant-based meat taco. You just saute some plant-based ground meat with taco seasoning and then load it up in a tortilla with all your favorite toppings like lettuce, tomato, avocado, and a bit of salsa. It's quick, easy, and delicious. Yum, that sounds amazing. I'm definitely going to try that. 
Absolutely, give it a go. Another great recipe is plant-based spaghetti bolognese. Just use plant-based ground meat instead of regular ground beef. Add your favorite pasta sauce and serve it over whole grain spaghetti. It's a heart-healthy twist on a classic dish. I love spaghetti bolognese. That's another one for the list. So to sum it up, plant-based meat can be a great addition to our diets, especially for heart health, as long as we're mindful of sodium levels and ensure we're getting all necessary nutrients. Exactly. It's all about balance and making informed choices. By incorporating plant-based meats and other healthy foods into our diet, we can take positive steps towards better heart health and overall well-being. Thanks for breaking it down for us. I think our listeners will find this really helpful. Any final thoughts before we wrap up? Just remember, making small changes to your diet can lead to big improvements in your health. Don't be afraid to try new things and find what works best for you. And always consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns about your diet or health. Great advice. Well, that's all for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed this discussion on plant-based meat and heart health. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to share your thoughts and let us know how you incorporate plant-based meats into your diet. Stay healthy and see you next time. Bye, everyone. Stay heart healthy and happy. Thanks for listening.